Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we have traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. I've partnered with uh, the, the folks here at Long Island Lutheran High School for 18 years doing short-term mission projects. Four years ago, they heard about our meal packing event that we did in, out in Stillwater in Minnesota. And they, they were really interested in doing something like that here. It's never been done out on the East Coast. Uh, so we got real serious about it two years ago, started planning. And now we've, it's taken in the last year, we got nine organizations come together to, uh, to pack 300,000 meals in honor of Andrew Green. We uh, have a wonderful student body that really wants to, to do, uh, to make a difference in the world. And uh, some of our students who have family members in Haiti were directly affected by the earthquake that took place. Plus we have a teacher here at our school, Mrs. Green, whose husband worked for the United Nations in Haiti at the time of the earthquake and unfortunately was tragically killed in the, the earthquake. And the students really wanted to respond, not only just to help the people of Haiti, but to honor Mrs. Green's husband, Andrew, who was killed in the earthquake. And I just think it's a really good thing that we're doing right now. We're all coming together, working for this cause, and it's turning out good, and I think we're doing a good job, and we're gonna make a lot of people have meals on their table one night. I was sad, because it's really unfortunate that that had to happen, but I also was kind of, after that, kind of eager to see how I could help, and I feel like this is a way of me helping. Well, we packed meals, 40,000, 14,000, and um, we are going to feed 40, 40 kids for one whole year. Now I can actually sleep better that knowing that 40 kids have meals for a year. Same with me. It's like you feel like you wonder about the world and how everybody's doing and you pray and pray and pray. But then sometimes it doesn't work out, but now you know 40 kids will re be receiving a meal for one whole year. We've been selling these t-shirts. Well, as you can see on it, it says One Hope, One Love, One Haiti. And it's really just, it was made for this project specifically. And senior designed it too. Yeah. also helped design the senior fashion show here. And it was, um, we sold them for $10 and all the, all, every single dollar we, we made went to this foundation and to Haiti. So in the last week we made over $300 to $400. $300. I think our school is unique this way that we, we really put our faith into action. Um, and, and these students raised money. We, had, we have an auction in the fall that raised money. We had churches that wanted to come and participate, and so they raised money in their churches in different ways with bake sales and, and other fundraisers so that we could all come together as a community to do this wonderful thing. They've raised $71,000 to purchase the supplies. All the, all the money goes into taking care of, we purchased the soy protein, the rice, dehydrated vegetables, and the vitamin mineral flavor mix, all the plastic bags, all the boxes, the tape, the shrink wrap, and the paint for the shipping containers. Students have worked really hard. They, they made special t-shirts this year, and they're selling t-shirts, have a special day, no uniforms, wear your Haiti t-shirt, and come and pack meals. So we have uh, over 1,200 volunteers, 650 from the school, and then 600 from the community at large. They're coming in to pack out the 300,000 meals. Well, I'm, a, I'm on Rice Patrol, they call it, and I'm helping pack boxes and get them over to the weighing table to be weighed and ready to be shipped. A bunch of my friends are doing the um, <clears throat> soy bags. They have to unload soy bags into the big plastic containers, and that's just a few of the many jobs. Some people are taping boxes, and as little as carrying them all the way out to the trucks. We, we weighed the boxes. I put the stickers on the box and we were taping the boxes. It feels good. Yeah. It feels, yeah, it feels like you're doing something good for someone. 
You know what's really neat is that uh, everybody's pitching in to make the work the work so easy, and it's just really wonderful the way that everybody's cooperating to make this event happen. We're trying to graduate kids that really not only are academically smart, but are well-rounded and really have a heart to wanting to serve others and to make a difference in the world.